Are you ready? Yeah. You're sure? Yep. Hey, what's your first and last name? Sarah. Just Sarah? Just Sarah. You don't have a last name? No. Nope. Like without <laughs> Where are we, Sarah? We're at Bigby Coffee. Yeah, but where? Where? Allendale, Michigan. Lake where? Michigan Drive. Where's that? It is in oh. West. Show me on here. It's about here. About there? Yep. That's in the west side of the state. Yes. Yep. And what's the thing about the west side of the state? Can you tell me? We're fabulous. You're fabulous yes. on the west side of the state? We're fabulous and we have beautiful lakes. Yeah, you have beautiful we have lakes. Lake Michigan. Michigan. Are the people beautiful? We're awesome over here. <laughs> They're very beautiful people. Are there any hippies over here? Because I understand there's some in Ann Arbor. There could be. I haven't encountered any, but it's very possible. Are you a hippie? Yes. <laughs> Shoot, there Are goes you? my <laughs> All right, Sarah, tell me your shoe size. Shoe size is nine. Nine, okay, yeah. that's pretty average. I, I had somebody yesterday who was size 11. Oh, 12. Yes, and, and, and it was, oh, 12? I got a 12 behind me over here. Let's see. There we go, 12 and 12. 12. But one's men and one's women, obviously. Yeah, that's okay. different. It's all about you, Sarah, so we're back to you. Okay. How long have you been working here? I've been working here since we opened, so about a year. About a year. And uh, what's the biggest thing going on around here? Um, festivals and fairs. Festivals and fairs right in now. the summer. And then in the academic year? School starts soon. <laughs> <laughs> what school is that? School of Grand Valley State University. All right, do you go there? Yes, I do. Oh, okay, and, and what are you studying? Uh, I'm pre-veterinary science. Now, is that the big animals or the small animals? Big animals. Like. Like horses Elephants and cows, and not giraffes wild or animals. horses and cows. Horses and cows. Okay, all right. Who? And ultimately, you want to go to Michigan State, which is the Spartans. Right, and it, it's the. It's in Eastland. Right, which is where. In Michigan. Right, but that's it's, where Bigby started. It's where Bigby started. Awesome. I was getting there. <laughs> we got to take care of some business here. Time for a refill. Just the newspaper for you, sir. Pardon? Just the newspaper. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my coffee. That's right. How was your coffee? Well, I tried that iced coffee. Yeah. I'll try it again. No. Wasn't your favorite? You don't like iced coffee? I had a wild zebra, Sarah. You talked me into that wild zebra. It was a wild zebra with Irish cream. You told me it tastes like coffee. It didn't taste like coffee. Tastes like sugar. <laughs> <laughs> wild zebra. Wild zebra. How many of those have you sold today? Today I've sold three. Three. My favorite recommendation. Me was one. Yep. And then there was Mr. Ferris was second. Mr. Ferris. Yeah. And then I made one for myself. Oh, I see. No, yes. no, there was one other guy by the fireplace. Didn't he get one? He didn't get a wild zebra. No. What did he get? I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't and, think I. And, and where does this him. zebra thing come from? Is it because you are a vet student that you're selling the wild zebra? Yes. Yes. It's because I like really. Both sides. I like it light <laughs> and dark. Now, is zebra a horse? It's it's related to the horse, right? But it's not really a horse. And what's a donkey? A donkey is kind of a cousin of the horse, right? And what's a mule? It's a mix between a donkey and a horse. Okay, can a mule reproduce? No. Okay, good. This is this is important information <laughs> that everybody needs to know. At right? Bigby Coffee. <laughs> At Bigby Coffee. That's right. Everybody's learning something. So, uh, what's the most popular drink here besides when you're selling the wild zebra? Caramel marble. Caramel marble. Almost always. Caramel Almost marble. always. Why do you think that is? I think because caramel is so popular. It's a very wonderful flavor. Wait it goes a minute. with everything. Well, it goes with everything, but isn't chocolate more popular than caramel? I don't know. I think people like caramel because caramel is easy going and laid back. Easy going and For laid back. For the hippies back. in West Michigan. <laughs> but in Ann Arbor, do you know that they drink more chocolate than caramel and there's more hippies there? Really? Yeah. Then my hippie theory is completely crushed. <laughs> It's out the door. Now, here's a question I have for you. Are you ready? Yes. You're sure? I'm sure. Okay, if you had my job, what's the one thing you would change? Where? I'd give us a raise? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I can't do that for you. Your, your franchise owner can. I think that But I I'm would... on board with it. I want to give you a raise right now. Really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mary Lynn's in the back. Yeah, she'll, re she'll watch this later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I would change. Yeah. Um, no, you have to look at the camera I so we can see. I'm looking around to get ideas. Yeah. I think I would make the peanut butter chill and the mint chip chill. Yeah. I would make their mint chip freeze. Right. I would make them both all the time. All the time. Yep. Because people... Because I love peanut butter more than yeah. anything in the world. What? Yeah. More than anything more in the world? More than anything in the world. Wait a minute. Really? Yeah. Why? Don't tell my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Where are your parents right now? They're in Portland. Oh, okay. Michigan? Well, one might be in Lansing right now. Yeah. Okay. So you know there's a Portland... Oregon and yeah, Maine, yeah, that's right. opposite sides, but yeah. yeah, Portland, Michigan. Which is the most popular of the three. Yeah, of course, that's, that's the right. first one people think of. Now, didn't it, it, it has a bridge, right? And it's well known for that. Yeah, it's the city of two rivers, actually. Thank that's you. That's what it's known All for. All right. 
And so what's the one piece of advice you would give me? The one piece of advice I would just give you... Just life. Not Big B, just life. Um, make friends with old people. Make friends with old people yeah. because... Because they're the most awesome people in the world. They're laid back <laughs> and they have tons of knowledge. You can learn more, right? Plus they're really funny. Smile for me. 